Rob, you've got a brand new machine here. This is a star sliding headlight. When did it, when did it land? It uh, came in just before Christmas and we had it fully installed last week and the training was done earlier this week. Not your first machine, is it, from Star? No, this is our fourth now. Um, we initially started with two size 20 machines and we've now bought 232, so the fourth one from Star. Now, why the SR32J, Rob? We've always been a company that's tried to invest in something that will give us extra capacity on material and also engineering capabilities. The 32 we bought this time, we bought with an um, extended guide bush collet unit, which allows us to do stop bar up to 35 mil. And we also specified high pressure coolant to allow us to work with difficult materials, swarf, chip problems, and deep hole drilling. Let's look at the first point there. Will you ever go up to 35 mil? We have got quite a few jobs that we, uh, we run 35 mil bar, yes. And then the high pressure coolant, are you gonna, you're gonna get the benefit from that? What, what are you looking to uh, achieve from it? For us, it's when you're working with softer materials that tend to be sticky and the swarf would wrap around tools or drills. With high pressure coolant, what we're, what we're looking for is that swarf to be broken down to eliminate away from the tools to allow us to run production quantities um, hassle-free, hopefully. How many axes has this machine got? And it's obviously front end and back end working, isn't it? Yeah, front end and back end working, seven axis machines with approximately 26 tool positions. Would I be right in saying that you need to have thousands off of the same part to get the benefit out of one of these machines? No, that's a common misconception. Many years ago, when sliding heads were the old Swiss style machines, they were cam, cam set, cam driven, and it would take a, a setter probably anywhere between six, eight, 10 hours to set the machine. Nowadays, with the improvements in planet control systems, you can set a machine in probably an hour to three hours, depending on the complexity of the part. So you could set up smaller batch ones. We've run a job over there recently for 100 parts. That's quite interesting, because a lot of engineers might think I've got batches of 100 and 200, or I can't use a sliding head because it won't be cost effective. But you're saying that's not the case. Yeah, they're very flexible machines now. We've, um, we quite regularly run quantities that many years ago you wouldn't have done that. All right, let's have a look at this part here, because this is the reason behind the machine purchase or, or part of the machine purchase. Tell us about what it is and, and, and what you're looking to get from it. Yeah, CNC engineers will tell you EN3B is not the best material to work with. It can vary consider, considerably in what suppliers will give you. So getting it to chip and turn and break away has been the problem. A very fine, small thread in there, and we're, with the high pressure coolant and the oil, we're hoping that we can uh, form the thread, form the grooves, and have a nice surface finish and produce a part consistently. What sort of quantity are you going to be running that at? These vary from uh, 1,000 to 2,000 lots at a time. So you had a problem with this. So you, you were doing it on a fixed head machine, were you? And now you're bringing it onto the slider. That's right. We used to do it on a fixed head machine. It would be two operations. So we do first operation would be grooving, threading. And then we parted off. And then a second operation would be a man standing on a manual lathe, deburring in the back end, checking the threads as well. So now we're hoping to uh, produce this now in one complete operation, the part complete, and out the door. You mentioned something to me as well about hassle-free, and by, by bringing it onto this machine, that's what you're looking to gain, isn't it? So you don't have the issues with the swarf. But that's not the only benefit, because I'm assuming you're going to make it faster as well, correct? Yeah, it will be faster, because A, we don't have the second operation. The speeds and the times, because the cutting tools are all closer to the part, then we will gain on the cycle time. When we, when we first came in here today, Rob, I was talking to you about sliding head lays uh, being essentially often turnkey sales. But again, that's, that's another common misconception from your side as well, isn't it? You can buy these machines without having it turnkeyed or a turnkey package. You don't have to, no, that's true. And I, I often find that if someone hasn't got a sliding head, when they go and get one, they will get another because they will see what they can produce and what they can do for your company. It's a very good advert for Star. This, you're obviously a, a happy Star customer. They've been very good to me, and I, I will say, whenever I've rung them, either it's for advice or sales, service, applications, it's a bit of a bit of a hackneyed old cliche, but you do feel like you're their only customer when you're speaking to them. They're very good. They've been very good for us. Good stuff. Thanks for your time today, Rob. No problem. Thank you.